welcome to um, part two of these uh, floral paintings, acrylic on canvas. I hope uh, I didn't keep you waiting too long. <laughs> um, uh, this is technically part two because I did paint both on the same day and uh, in fact you saw me uh, prep this canvas while I was um, getting the other painting ready. It wasn't done on purpose. I simply just had too much paint so I decided to go ahead and do two. Uh, last time I sat down and I did two paintings but I think that time I actually knew that I was going to be doing two. Anyways, a bit of a surprise but uh, we rolled with it and I ended up liking both paintings. Um, I won't tell you which one's my favorite. <laughs> That's not allowed. Um, no, but I decided with this one to go a little different, um, to take a few chances, uh, chances, uh, take a few artistic, um, I don't know, leaps, basically. You know, I always think about flowers and I always think about, you know, the warmer colors, the pinks, the reds, um, yellows, oranges, but, uh, I was like, wait, what if I paint blue flowers and purple flowers and do a different kind of um, situation? I mean, what are those called? The hydrangeas come out in purple and blues, but uh, these are not hydrangeas because <laughs> it's not what I planned for. However, um, I did want to stick to like uh, a smaller palette. I'm trying to do that nowadays, uh, stick to, you know, a few colors, although because I use purple as more of a shadowy type color, like it's intended to bring out shadows. I do this thing with watercolor and I'm trying to do it with acrylic and it's been a little mm, different, let's say. Um, so anyways, but yeah, um, I have, what, two, four, five colors. <clears throat> Not terrible. Excuse me, I just got something stuck in my throat. <coughs> Let me just cough it out. I promise I'm well. Um, I was having cereal before, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Sometimes when I sit down to do a voiceover, I bring, like, a snack, and then I realize I can't do that. I can't eat while I voiceover, silly. Um... Yeah, so these flowers, uh, getting back to them, they are, um, I like the texture, so I do a lot of texture where I'm just kind of plopping it like this, in this sort of way, and um, my paintbrushes aren't happy, but I am, I'm pretty okay with it. Mm. What else can I tell you about this painting? Um, yeah, I, uh, it, I wanted to keep it you know, within this color range, I do end up having to pull darker greens and other things from other places because um, it's been a while for me. I've mentioned this before. It's been a while for me since I did uh, play with acrylic. And so I'm out of practice. And like with anything else, I mean, like when I say out of practice, I mean, it's been a long, long time. Um, yeah, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna date myself and tell you <laughs> when I finished high school, but it's been a long time and I can't believe it. But uh, yeah, we're making we're making things happen with this uh, with these um, paintings. I like how they're coming out. Um, if anything, I'm just getting practice and um, you know, worst comes to worst, we'll just put a gesso over them and do another painting. But for right now, I really like them. Uh, there can be me company here in the studio until they go to their forever homes. These paintings are for sale in my shop, <clears throat> shameless plug, um, as both uh, the original canvases and also as prints. And uh, they are, eh, maybe they'll make a comeback as stickers as well. Who knows? We'll see. Um, I've got a lot of stuff going on in this tiny little studio, in this tiny little brain of mine feels sometimes like it's going to explode with all the, the ideas and all the things that I want to do. Here I'm switching to a smaller teeny tiny brush just to get those um, in between shadows, uh, in between the flowers. Um, yeah, I don't like that little brush. It's like scratching the, the um, canvas. It's obnoxious. So here I am. I had to go for a darker blue to... Uh, you know, try to fix this uh, shadow situation, and then I realized it's too much blue. Should have gone with the green. 
so I make my, my leaves are like a weird color. Um, now I'm trying to make darker purple. <clears throat> um, they all, it all ends up coming together really, really nicely. I do really enjoy how these floral paintings, um, turn out. I'm very proud of them. I wouldn't sell anything that I'm not proud of. Um, I would literally just start over again. So, uh, it's just getting there. Like there's always that middle ugly phase, you know, in, in art projects. I didn't come up with that. <clears throat> my friend, I'm really sorry. Uh, I keep like coughing or clearing my throat. Um, but if you're still here and listening, my friend Shanice from the Sleepless Planner, she's <clears throat> always telling me like, um, that her projects go through that, you know, middle ugly phase. And then it, that's that point where you have to either stick with it or drop it and start anew. Um, I don't love starting new, so I just keep working things and, uh, somehow they work out. I don't think, uh, I'm thinking of like my take fives and yeah, no, I've never had to scrap a page in order to start a new one. I always work through it. Um, yeah, because there's always an element in, in that picture that you want to save, that you want to, you know, there's an idea there. I don't know. Um, I get emotionally attached to things very easily. So, <laughs> uh, And here I am trying to save the paint from the brush using a smaller brush. Oh, such a mess. Um, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Uh, I love adding these, like, uh, blades of grass they're just fun because they just go everywhere and there's no out I mean I have an outline I have pencil marks for them but um they're just fun because they're very loose and it's always just uh it makes your eye just go to all of the edges of the canvas and make sure you don't miss anything I like that I like those little details like that especially um you know because the top layer of uh these paintings is so um loose um, I love the, and I do this with my watercolor as well, so if you've seen those videos, then you know what I'm talking about. I, I'm so sorry, that is an alarm. <laughs> um, I am used to doing, uh, you know, the, um, very loose, sketchy type lines that you'll see in a few, uh, and that just, it, it, it adds a level of detail that's not too complex, it's not too, time consuming and that you have to be very very careful about your markings and it also allows you to just play and be and have that child fun play time um that i i just want to keep that um focus when i'm when i'm you know doing painting because it's supposed to be fun for me it's supposed to stay playful and so um I, I just don't want to take it too, too seriously where I'm trying too hard to make you see a specific flower. Nature is uh, is one of my favorite subjects. Like, these flowers have become my favorite subject because they are so um, playful. And, you know, as long as your eye is tricked into seeing petals or a leaf out of this green blob, <laughs> um, you know... I'm creating a, an illusion more than I'm creating like an actual like real you know lifelike painting does that make sense I feel like I I had to explain that for a really long time I'm sorry if you're still here give yourself uh give yourself a pat on the back oh my goodness um I'm just trying to like walk you guys through like my my thought process and it's not all just like oh hey you know let's go from um you know planning to you know sticking stickers on a page and making uh, a plan with me to you know let's just slapping the paint on there I I do have a, a process and and um I don't like my creative my creative brain just needs all these different outlets and I enjoy bringing you guys along for the ride whether you enjoy it and get something out of it inspiration um or you want to try these at home these flowers you know I I do speed it up this is obviously not how fast I paint uh but you are getting the gist of what I am doing and um I don't cut out any major parts uh 
really during the editing process, it's all about speeding it up and um, cutting out the parts where I like I'm drying the canvas or we're watching paint dry while I eat a bowl of cereal or something like that, <laughs> which is actually very, very true. So um, after how long has it been? Maybe two years after maybe two years of a failed relationship with these Posca marker pens. Um, I have finally, finally found what they can do, what they are capable of. And, um, I dare say I am kind of falling for them. Um, as long as I'm using them in this way, uh, when I've used them for take fives on, you know, paper, very thick paper, but still paper, um, they they have not worked for me and I've made big huge messes and that I've had to you know um, rectify but um, on canvas they're working really well and uh, I went to find more because this blue one we're gonna see in a little bit that I start struggling with it and it may just be the fact that because I'm doing something so loose I tend to hold it from very far up, as you can see, like I'm, I'm barely holding to the top of it. And then um, just, I was creating that looseness, right? So I have it a little more, um, how do I say it? it? It's at an angle. And I think that because it's at an angle, the pen was just struggling to let uh, the ink flow. So uh, I start struggling and kind of scratching and I'm thinking that the pen is running out of ink and I'm like, oh no, not, not mid-painting, we still have um, things to do here. <laughs> um, plus, just going to the store nowadays is just such a thing I, and I, I try not to, uh, but then, you know, things take forever to arrive in the mail as well, so it's like this, uh, it becomes like, what's going to be faster, me? Deciding to go to the sh store and buying a new marker, please don't fail on me. But you'll see, see, I'm making lines, I'm struggling, I'm struggling, and I'm like, no, not right now. So here's where I'm holding it at an angle, and it's like, nope, not like that, lady. So now, yeah, I'm, I'm panicking a little bit, because all I want to do is finish. I want to finish it. And we do, we make it through. The pen is fine, it's still working. Turns out that it just needed a good shake. Uh, but I did uh, end up running to the store uh, yesterday, way past, way post <laughs> making this, by the way. Um, and I got uh, a different brand just to check them out, just to see paint pens. You know, I'm new to them, uh, I think. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had them before, really, in the, for this uh, type of thing. I also picked up some more of these 8x10 canvases because uh, I'm having fun. And I hope you're enjoying it too. And here she is. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And press that bell so you don't miss a thing. Bye, guys.